Hey guys, it is me, Stace. I have been playing around with my brother Scan and Cut 2 machine, and I can tell you I'm in love with the machine for two reasons. One is the fussy cutting up the stamping. You don't need to do that no more. The other one is for Project Life printables. This is a sheet here. The machine just got done cutting out. And look at that, it did a really good job. And when I'm talking about printables, you can go to Pinterest and just type in the search box, Project Life Printables, and a whole bunch will come up. And normally I would have to go ahead and manually cut them out myself. You can see I have a whole, a few sheets here. These are cards I found. More cards, more here. You know, so now you're able to create your own embellishments by using the machine. And we're gonna do that today with this sheet here that's already on my mat. The other reason I like it is because of stamping. Here are a few I did already that I cut out. These are from the From Land of Sea stamps that I believe. But look how intricate the wagon wheel is. And then we have this one. With the machine, you have the option of putting an outline around it. Um, really, really nice. And it does a really good job cutting it out. And we're going to be doing that today as well. So here's just a sheet I printed off, or I stamped out. This is just a monkey stamp I had. The shell, the fish, and the lobster are from um, By the Tide. The Oh Happy Day is from Close to My Heart. And the B there is from May May's Bee's Knee stamp set. So a lot of reasons you can use it. Another reason I like it for the stamping is that you're able to scan it in there and make it be any size you want. A lot of stamps may be too big for Project Life, but now I'm able to scan them down and resize them to be any size I want. Let's go to the machine. I'll share with you guys it cutting out the Project Life printables and also this piece here. All right, guys, you're looking at the screen on the brother scan and cut. I'm going to go ahead and choose the scan option. I'm going to do direct cut. I'm going to hit start and it's going to load the mat in and scan all of our images. And that's a full eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Okay. It is done scanning and now you can see it's recognizing the images. Then it's going to bring up our preview so we can see what it's going to look like. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I can see here what's going to the, the outline around them. One of my pieces down here, the word important, is going to cut out the lettering, so I guess that's not a really good scanned image. I'm going to go ahead and click on the little arrow to kind of crop it a little bit, make it a little bit smaller of a file. And I do want the outline around it. I'm going to go ahead and click on this button here and you're able to change your outline. I'm going to go 0 0.04, click OK. I can see the outline here. Click OK there. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and click on Cut. I'm going to push Start, but I'm going to bring you guys down so you guys can see the map. Okay, let's go ahead and click on Start.
where it's cutting out the words, so it didn't get the outline of it. That is all done. Let's go to the table and we'll see what how it did. All right, it's all done cutting out. Let's go and peel it off the mat. So you can see it does a really, really good job, and it's pretty quick. So here's all of our pieces with a little bit of an outline around them. Actually, I didn't do an outline on them. I thought I did. Oh, I did. It's just a really small. Well, you can't see it on these pieces here because they already have the outline around them. But on this banner piece, you'll see here. See the outline around it? You know, so it's great for the, like I said, the project like printables. I love it for that. You know, because normally you have to cut all these out by yourself with scissors, and I'm horrible at that. Like I said, it did cut out the word important. You know, sometimes when you have a, um, a like a really light colored background, it won't read it. So I did read on a bunch of, um, post that they recommend just drawing with a pencil just a little outline around it so it'll help read it but I guess I didn't do it on that one look how many we cut out and they're perfect you know so now I love that you're able to just you know grab printables make copies of them if you want to and then just go in and cut them out and you're also able to resize them you know really really fun little machine all right so there we have all that I'm gonna just clean up all my, my mat a little bit get rid of the extra strips here and now we're going to go ahead and do the one that we stamped, which is right here. Now the mat is not terribly sticky, um, but I think that's fine. It's, it is holding it, and you can put this anywhere. You don't have to put it in the top right corner. I think this time we'll just go right here to go in the middle. All right, let's go ahead and go to the machine, and we'll cut this one out. All right, guys, now we are going to go ahead and scan the stamp. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Scan, Direct Cut, Hit Start. And I recognize what's on my mat. Okay, let's go ahead and click OK. I'm going to go ahead and click this to resize it, just to crop it a little bit. Now I want to just look and make sure everything has an outline around it. I can see it does. I'm going to make the outline bigger. I'm going to make this one be 0 0.08 or 0 0.08. Click OK. I'm going to click on Cut. And once again, I'll bring you guys down to the mat so you can see it cutting. OK. Start. done let's go to the mat and see how it did all right guys we are back i took all these pieces off the mat so i can share with you what they look like and again this these are using the 0 0.08 outline look how uniform it is now a lot of these stamps are stamping up stamps and quite a few of their stamps do have a coordinating punch or die that you can you know have that cut out for you these ones don't so if i want to cut them out i'm doing it on my own and they would not look as good as they do here 
Then we have the lobster. I think it's one of my favorite. And then we have the bee from Mimi's Bee's Knee stamp set. And then just a little monkey stamp I have there. But look how pretty the outline is. It's nice and uniform and really cleanly cut. Now we just played around with a few things. You know, I, I, we did a few stamps. My favorite thing is this part here, making your own project life embellishments from printable, from printables you'll find. Now you can of course go to the store, buy a pack of embellishments, pay a few bucks, but once you use them, they're gone. You can't reuse them. Here I have the file on my computer. Whenever I need more of them, just print them out, bring them to the scan I cut, have it scan and cut them out. So I'm always having a good supply of project life embellishments, which I really do like about that a lot. Now I did get my machine off HSN in a bundle deal. Um, it also included this piece here. This is a universal pen holder, another really great little tool. You know, normally with a pen holder, you would need like a little adapter or something that goes inside there to make it work for a pen. With this one, you don't. I was able to um, draw with the Sharpie Ultra Fine Marker, also the Stamp and Write markers, and one of the you know the Cricut markers as well. I need, I need, I still need to play around and learn quite a bit about the machine. I'm going to try a few ballpoint pens I have, maybe a few more markers, some pencils, and see how it does with that with the pen holder. Um, I still need to learn the machine. You know, I've only had it since yesterday. I've been glued to YouTube, watching a lot of videos, just you know, learning and trying to follow steps to see what the machine can do. Now, my model is the CM350H. I did get off of HSN in the bundle deal, which included the pen holder. I paid $2.99 for the machine, and I think it's well worth every penny in it because, like I said, the machine can do so much. The other thing I really like about the machine is you don't need to be near your computer. You don't need to have it hooked up to a computer. So my machine here is sitting in my project life space because that's where I tend to use it more. But there also is, you can go online and there's a Brother Canvas software. Nowhere near as advanced as the Silhouette Studio or the Design Space software. There's still software you can play around with and see something in a bigger screen. It works on a PC, a Windows, um, the Mac, iPad, Android, I, I believe it works on all devices. And I like that if I'm on the machine, I can save something to the software and you know go on my computer or the, or the iPad and find it there without having it be hooked up. If I'm on the computer or the iPad, again, I can save something there to the machine and come to the machine that's on the machine without, without having any wires um, hooked up. So I love the machine for that. But like I said, there's a lot I need to learn about it. Um, I wanna learn how to you know cut fabric. I'm gonna get the deep cut blade. Um, to cut foam and other things like that. But I will keep you guys updated. But overall, I'm really happy with it. I think it's a really good little machine. A little pricey, but for like I said, for this part alone, it works really, really well for what I wanted it to work for. Any questions at all, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.